Hello world, this is live from QNet headquarters in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm marketing specialist Michael, and today it's my pleasure to have our product manager Sherry with me. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Michael. Uh, Hi. I heard that uh, you went to Japan last month, that's right? Yes, I went to Japan, Osaka, oh. last, last month. All right, then I guess you have, must have already taken a lot of photos, right? I know I personally like take, taking photos, but girls love <laughs> taking photos, right? Yes, I take around 500 photos Ooh. this time. <laughs> well, that's a lot, but uh, I assume that you will have no problem organizing all this photo because you know how to use our photo station, is that correct? Yes, I will teach you how to manage your photos with Photo Station 5.6 and QTS 4.3.4. All right, uh, I believe our, some of our viewers may experience some problems when organizing their photos. So you, yes. you will tell them how to solve their problem with Photo Station, right? Yes. All right, let's go. So switch to our slides. Our new version of Photo Station 5.6 uh, is smarter management of your memories. So, uh, just like Michael said, this might bother you sometimes when you take lots of photos after a trip. How to organize and share them with your friends? Michael, how, how would you uh, organize your photos and share with friends. Uh, I usually um, categorize them into different folders and yes. use um, a USB thumb drive to copy them to my friends. I guess um, that's um, most convenient because not everyone uses NAS, is NAS or have, right, have internet access. So maybe using a USB drive is faster. Yes. Uh, many people may like Michael to use this kind of ways to manage their photos. But if you have a NAS and you can install Photo Station 5.6 to uh, organize your photos well. So for example, I have a photo, I have lots of photos and I want to send them to friends. Uh, friends say to me, I would like my photos, but the, the other photos I want to I don't want want to share with them. So this time I have to find out which photos my friends want and send to to her or him. That's a little bit troublesome because you have to um, distinguish what what you want and what you don't want. Yes. But uh, if he can connect to our NAS and just browse for himself, then that's convenient. Yes. And. The second problem is after importing photos from PC to NAS, uh, do I have to organize them again? Well, well, do you worry about it, Michael? Sometimes, but um, um, I'm okay with our photo station, but I know that uh, so I also organize my music by folders, but when importing them to say maybe iTunes, they will get messy again. So sometimes I do worry about this kind of stuff, but I'm not worried about our photo station. Okay, <laughs> it seems like you are confident of photo station. <laughs> uh, that's, that's very good. <laughs> okay, uh, the, the third problem is that is anything I need to know when I view and enjoy all, uh, my collections. And we, we will teach you in the next part. So. I will tell you the first answer. If you have lots of photos after a trip, you can organize and share with friends using QPhoto and Photo Station 5.6 and QTS 4.3.4. The first step, take photos using QPhoto's instant upload. And the, the next part, organizing, you can use face recognition in photo station. And the third part, sharing. You can use sharing links and the 360 panorama mode to view your photos. And the first part, take photos. 
uh, QPhoto have this feature is photo and video instant, instant upload. Mm, Michael, do you have the exper experience that your cell phone doesn't have in uh, an available space, but you have to take more photos? Sometimes less happens because if I, if I go out and take a lot of photos, they're running out of memory pretty, pretty soon. Yes. So what will you do next time? Uh, what will you do next steps? Mm. Will you delete photos? Well, maybe, you I'll delete, maybe I'll delete some old photos, but uh, eventually the space will be running out again. So I have to start taking the photos. Yes, that is a problem. So the photo and QPhoto Q photo supports the photo and video instant upload. You will upload to the NAS right in your you are taking or recording re videos. Photos in the NAS saves in a safer and a larger space. It don't occupy your your phone space. And before we enter in the next part, I want Michael to guess how many people are here. The same face is one person. You mean how many? How, how many? No, no matter where, how, many, how many faces, but how many people, right? How many people, yes. Uh, I cannot tell exactly, maybe five of them? Maybe, I don't know, because there are some smaller faces I cannot see very clearly. Yes, actually it's six people. Oh, really? Yes, so just like Michael, we have to, sometimes we have to find out uh, people in the photos, but we just use our eyes and we may make some mistakes just like uh, Michael said. But with photo station 5.6, we have the face recognitions. It can detect faces in the photos and group photos by the same people. It can also support searching by people and then you can enjoy the good memories of people in your lives. It sounds very convenient because um, I know Facebook is providing the similar feature yes. to distinguish who, who is who and who is in what photo. Yes. And we can do that on our NAS. Yes, we can do it on our NAS. So there are three steps to start. Very, very easy. <laughs> the first one is to install Photo Station Extension 2. And the second one is after you install the Photo Station Extension 2, you have to wait for faces to be re recognized. And the result will be shown on the people suggested page. You can also refresh to update the result. And the Third one is to add a name to the face and enjoy your memories. For example, I enter Sherry on my face. Then it, you can view our, my photos in people text pages and the same pe person can be merged. If you have uh, lots of faces, there are the same person, you can merge these faces to one. So you are saying if your face is, is recognized, by, recognized by the system as two person, yes. you can combine the result together? Yes. Because we know that the recognition part doesn't always work that perfectly, right? Yes. Uh, Google or Facebook are not work like people we always know who is the same person. So our NAS may um, have this uh, limitation. Yes, sometimes uh, the computers are not always reliable. Yes. Right. And in the sharing part, we also provide the enhanced sharing links. We enhance the user interface and users can download and play slideshow on this share link easily. And this share link also support PC and mobile devices. 
So this is the first solution of the problems. Let's demo it. <laughs> sure, we love demos. So let's go to our live demo here. Okay, this is all. Uh, I went to Japan and take lots of photos. And you can see here is a people page. So click the people page, you can see suggested and text. And there are no tech people because I haven't entered any names. So we just go to the suggested pages. The system recognized all the faces in my photos. So you can see this is my face. So I enter my name. Then go to text page. Okay, so you can see I tag Sherry, I enter this album. This is all my photos in Sherry album. And actually this is my face too. So I enter Sherry and it will ask you to merge people add merge so you can see the number of photos is different from uh, the previous steps so enter this album refresh there are some new photos in Sherry's albums okay so now we can try some new photos Just upload your photos from computer. They are here. Okay. Okay, when the photos is uploading, I want to tell you that uh, before you using the face recognition, you have to install the photo station extension. And this photo station extension will be in control panel and multimedia, multimedia management, media add-on. And you can see this application. So just install it. After you install it, you can use the face recognition features. So we just upload our photos here and let's see the result. Is the face recognition background test completed? Yeah, it's still running, right? It's still running, but after it is complete, it will be show here to, uh, it, it will show the new faces and you can also enter another name to add to the text part. All right. So when it's finished, the new faces I will be shown at the suggested page. Yes. So we can just show the next feature, the share, sharing links. So if I want to send my photos to another one, I just right click on this face on this uh, people album and select share sharing links. So you can choose the domain name and add create. And go to this URL. There are all the photos in Sherry's album. So if you want to share with friends, you can just share uh, his album and you will see this page 
because it's very convenient that you just let the system recognize all the faces and create different albums. Now it will automatically create different albums and yes. you only have to share the link of the album. Yes. And he or she will get all the picture of him or yes. her. Yes. And there are some pictures. You can also play slideshow here. <laughs> With the music. <laughs> okay. And you can also download these photos. But before downloading these photos, the administrator user have to open the permission in the settings and select this option. Mm -hmm. Oh, now there's the, the download button. Yes, the download button this uh, appears. So the guests can download all these photos if you give them permissions. Okay. That uh, back to the PowerPoint. Okay, there are something we must know is 360 photos and videos are very popular now. For example, many people want to take photos together. Uh, we can use the 360 camera to take this, these photos, all of us. And if you have a scenery is beautiful you also want to take the 360 photos of it and there are also very uh, there are also many fun videos on youtube there are 360 videos Photo, uh, facebook and youtube are also support these features for example photo uh, Facebook mobile app, it has a viewing function of taking 360 photos and it can support most mobile devices. And YouTube, it has a virtual, virtual reality channel and over 2 million subscribers and 2,000 videos. So how to stay on top on trends, Michael? <laughs> you have to have something that can take 360 video or photos. Yes. Mm, but you, if you don't have the 360 camera, you can use your cell, cell phone. Yeah, you just said that fast Facebook app uh, is uh, supporting taking 360 photos right? yes. for most mobile devices. Yes. And then you should have a QNAP NAS with QTS 4.3.4 and PhotoStation 5.6. Why? Why should we have a QNAP NAS? How does it relate to each other? After you take 360 photos or videos, you have to view it. Yeah, I would like to view it. But there are not... There... Mm, not many tools support the view function. Oh, I see. So can we view the 360 photos uh, with our QTS and the photo yes. station? Yes. We suppose the panorama mode with the 360 files. So you can view photos and videos via 360 panorama mode and also share links support these features and you can also use vr mode to combine with google cardboard or another vr glasses and the other nas doesn't support this function so it is a unique function of Q qnap so if uh, if this if this software 
doesn't support viewing 360 photos, the photo will look very strange if you yes. want to view it, right? Yes. So with some proper function, you can just turn the photo and video back to what it's supposed to be. Yes. And in photo stations interface, you can see there is a icon of 360 files. And this files will be opened with panorama mode as default. But if some photos, mm, it doesn't have 360 tag in the metadata, you can also click the 360 button to open panorama mode. So with some, with the new photo station, we can take photos, install instantly upload them, and we can even view those um, most popular 360 videos and photos yes. inside. Yes. And also QPhoto supports these pictures. QPhoto also support BR mode, so you can use it and turn your 360 files into VR mode and put, put it in the VR glasses. And we also support panorama mode for my phone photos. Oh, okay. It's time to demo. All right, let's go. So I have created an album. You can see there are many 360 photos and videos uh, with the text. So you can see this icon on these photos. And I click this photo. You will automatically using the panorama mode. So I can turn another angle to view these photos. So that little icon means the system has recognized this photo as a 360 photo. Right? Yes. So what if um, the system doesn't recognize it as a 360 photo? Mm. Just like these photos. Okay. And you can click this icon. So you transfer to the panorama mode. So even the uh, the photos system can't recognize. You can use these features. Okay, let's back to our phone. So when there are so many ways to taking these photos, the quest the next question will be how does how do we organize those photos, right? Yes. Some people will organize photos in their computers by folders, but upload to NAS, the photo station, they will worry about photo station, have to recognize it again or by themselves or automatically. Uh, that's because they, uh, those, those people who worry about this problem is because they haven't used photo station before, right? Yes. Because if they use, they will know the problem don't exist. Yes. So I'll tell you the answer is no. Mm. Some people will use Lightroom to add text on photos. And now photo station supports reading and writing EXIF, IPTC, XMP metadata. So you can view and add it ex existing metadata. You don't have to add text again. And the next question is, if I organize photos by folders on my computer, just like this. And we suggest you to use smart albums. In the next part, we'll tell you to convert folder structures to smart albums in a single click. Sure. And we support read and write metadata of photos in photo station. So you, if you use Lightroom or Photoshop, any other applications to add AXIF, I, IPTC, and XMP metadata, you can use PhotoStation to 
view this metadata information. And next one is we can edit this metadata in photo station and save changes to the photos. So if you download photos on another computer, this information will also be downloaded with the files. So all this metadata will be kept with the photo. Yes. So importing those photos into our photo station won't modify or delete all this metadata. It will be yes. kept. Yes. And how to convert folders to albums? You can open folder, folder page and right click on the folder. There are some options like create new, new album and create smart album or convert sub folders to smart albums. And what's the advantage of smart albums? Just like you can customize permissions or you can have multiple search uh, criteria, and you can also turn search results to smart album. And in smart album or uh, general album, you can view, view photos with map mode. And this is the setting of a smart album, just like the screenshot. You can customize the permissions and have multiple search criteria. And you can use advanced search. And if you like the search results of, of these photos, you can turn it to smart albums. And in smart albums, you can open the map mode to view photos with map. So there are a lot of ways to create an album, right? Yes. So manually or smart albums or by search criteria. Yes. It's very good. OK, so we can just demo it. Sure. So we can see these pictures. I have add text in Lightroom on my computer, but upload these photos to Photo Station. They are already tags I have to create with Lightroom. So if I want to add some text, and here is a button, save to files. If I click this button, the new text will save in this photos. And the next time I download this photo, I will also have the tag. So Lee, so we can just add and edit all this text inside the photo station. We don't have yes. to download it to our computer, edit it, and then re-upload it. Yes. Another uh, information we can add it is that GPS and the dates taken, title and description. Yeah, also can be saved to the file. And if you we have lots of folder. We can just go to the folder page and enter a certain folder. Right click on the folder, there are some options. If you I want to convert subfolders to smart album, I just click it. And you can see in the album page, there are some smart albums I just create with the folder view. So even you have lots of folders in one folder, you can just click once to create these albums. It's very convenient. Yes. And the album settings, you can change the permissions and add more search criteria, like this date in history or the certain renting and tax. So there are a lot of criteria for you to use to yes. look for photo you want. Yeah, you can also 
uh, select the source path, just like now. Okay, so we'll go to the third problem. Okay. Is there anything I need to know when I view and enjoy my collections? Is to be master of photo management. So there are four skills to use. The first one is in, if I want to improve the transcoding performance, we suggest you to use VLC player. And next one, if we want to protect photos, we can set uh, we can go to settings and don't allow guests to download your photos. And the third one, there are hard keys in helps you to be more convenient to use photo station. And the last one is before uploaded the photos, you might have to set uh, media folders so you can view photos uh, you uploaded. And VLC support, it means um, if you have some large videos files or unsupported formats in your NAS, uh, test we, can, we can't play this kind of files in our NAS because uh, sometimes we, can, we just can't open this file or the performance is very poor. But with the VLC player, we can play this kind of files and uh, with your VLC player on your PCs, but it requires QV helper and VLC installed on your PCs. I think the unsupported format is because let some because of some license issue. Yes, we cannot put all the codec into our NAS. Is yes. that correct? Yes. So we we'll have to leverage the help of VLC to play yes. all the videos. Yes. Even our basic models can play uh, large video formats, so it's very convenient. And here is an option to protect your photos from thieves. Go to photo station settings and you can see there is an option to allow guests to download photos and videos or not. So guests can't download files without your permissions. You just show this option to us earlier, yes. right? <laughs> and there is some there are some hotkeys. When you view photos, you can press A to add to this photo add this photo to album or click T to add text on these photos and click I to open the information and click ESC to close this viewer. Um, some, someone may ask that um, I upload my photos but I can't see them on photo station. So why this happen? Because you might, you have to set media folders before you view your photos. And we have the def default media viewer is multimedia folder. So if you upload to multimedia folder, you can uh, automatically, you can view these photos by default. But you have if you upload to another folders, which is not media folders, you have to add this folder as the media folders first. So you can also uh, select photo or video type of this folder. And folders with video checks on videos, video check only will not appear in photo station. So if you want to uh, let the photo station know there are photo to process, you have to specify the file, let the folder let the files in, right? Yes. So. Or, or the system would not know there are photos. Yes. And uh, you can even specify for videos and uh, 
so they will they will have a difference so right yes if you select videos only uh, video video station will know this folder but photo station will not know this folder so there's a difference between the photo check and the video check yes and let's demo uh, okay. this useful feature sure Here I have a video on my NAS, but this video is uh, too large, so I can just right click and play with VLC player. Okay, so we can see it plays with VLC player well. So this is also a video you took well, during your trip in Osaka? This is Kyoto. <laughs> Kyoto. In, in Kyoto. All right, very cool. The traditional Japanese breakfast. This looks very nice. <laughs> so the, uh, when you click the to, to play videos with VLC player, the photo station will bring up the VLC player in your computer and yes. play the video. Yes, but you have to install VLC player first on your your computer and you have to also you have to also install QB helper okay. to help our NAS to play this video and another useful skills is in settings just like uh, I demo is the option is to allow guests to download photos and videos or not so with this option checked the download button will appear yes then you can download those photos yes and uh, another setting is the media folders we can see we can add media folders here and these settings will sync with uh, multimedia management in control panel. So you don't have to worry about the settings here or in control, control panel. And you can select the photo or video media type to show this photo. Okay, so as all the features of the new photo station 5.6 all right that's very cool so are you planning for your next trip yes i want where to, do you want to go <laughs> i want to go to japan again I like again japan. <laughs> all right uh, but which city do you have any idea maybe mm, the north japan north oh. Mm -hmm. That would be very cool if you go during winter. Yes, to All right. see snow. If you really make this happen, please do share all this photo with me with the QTS uh, photo station. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> sure, all right. So that pretty much conclude our presentation today. And uh, we have, for the previous weeks, we have been talking about a lot of uh, system features like snapshots and uh, array 5060 but uh, we didn't forget there are a lot of users use our NAS for multimedia and entertainment purposes so today we are presenting the photos new photo station with a lot of new features yeah. so thank you Sherry for bringing us the introduction thank you thank you Michael <laughs> all right for this Thursday we will be introducing something else that is about our QFinder Pro and uh, we want to let our user know how to <coughs> easily and quickly utilize the full potential of our NAS. So stay tuned with us. Thank you for watching today. Bye-bye.